Hey, Kanji-kun. What's up, Yukiko-senpai? What's up, Yukiko-senpai? Look, you bastard, don't go bothering Yukiko-senpai. What? You're the one bothering her, you imposter! What was that? I'm the real one! Bullshit! You don't look anything like me, damn it! You little... Now try this, goddammit! Tell me exactly how old I was when I last went to bed! Oh, it was when you were in second grade, right? Why do you know that? Why do you know that? Hmm? Your mother told me once. Ah! Ah! I'm sorry, I don't have any more time to waste. Oh, I know. What if we say the one who can summon his persona is the real one? But that's impossible. It's not like we're inside the TV right now. Ha! You're giving up before even trying? And you dare call yourself the real me? When you put your guts into it, summoning a persona is no big deal at all. Ah! Persona! Oh, it worked! What? Seriously? How's that, Yukiko-senpai? Now you know I'm the real one. Oh no you don't, you bastard! If you could do it, so can I! Come on out! Persona! Whoa! That actually worked! Hey, what are you copying me for, damn it? What? You're the one copying me! I might be an imposter, were you? Hmm? Well, maybe a little. So mean! Just take a look at my fur! It's apparent that I'm the real Teddy! See? <laughs> so cruel! Um, I mean, I can't tell if you're the real one or not. But I keep telling you I am! I just beat the fake me a minute ago! I want to believe you, but I'm already having a hard time telling which of these two is which. You just need to use the power of love to tell them apart. Huh? You can tell the difference? Of course I can! My love for you would never ever be fooled by a fake! Hmm, then can I leave this to you? Huh? Leave what to me? Ted! Perfect timing! You know I'm the real one, right? Ah! A double serving of kanji? So these were the two things I was sensing near Yuki-chan! Mm-hmm. That's why I'll leave it to your love to tell them apart. Impossible! I'm completely, totally vetoing this idea! I mean, there's no love involved! The hell did you just say? You should be able to at least tell the difference, damn it! Both of those sound like things Kanji would say! So that's the limit of your love for Kanji-kun. Um, can we just say that they're both fake? That's what it comes down to in the end, right? What? Why are you listening to him? Would that be bad? Of course it would! Assuming that from the start is pretty messed up! Oh, I know. Could you use your nose to figure this out, Teddy? Hmm, I wish I could, but this red fog is getting in the way! My nose is no use right now! Wait, does that mean you're a fake after all? Not at all! There's a good, complicated reason for it! Hey, Ted, just do something and tell us apart, dammit! Yeah, you moron! I'm disappointed in you! Ah, two kanjis are worse than one! Okay, Teddy, stay still, concentrate, and... Gotcha! Oh, whoops! My nose got stuffed up! 
What? Jeez, what a useless bear. You say that, but I bet you're actually pretty relieved. What did you say? You're the one breathing easier, asshole. What was that? I'll take your punk ass down! Ooh, good idea, Yuki-chan! Well then, let's bring it on! People of Inaba, welcome! It's time for Who's the Best Inaba Resident? Huh? What the? Question number one. How many stories is Yasugami High School's classroom building? We're really doing this? It's three stories. J you bastard, it was my turn to answer! Correct! Now on to question number two. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day at the supermarket Juness. How many stories does it have? T two stories! Correct! Now for question number three. From Shiroku's store, how many buildings away is the Moel gas station? Uh, um, it's, uh, uh four buildings. Correct! Number four. Take the sum of the numbers in the answer so far. Multiply by eight and divide that by three. What do you get? Huh? Um, uh... Wait, what does that have to do with being an Inaba resident? Too easy. It's 24. Correct again! And... You're, You're the, the culprit! culprit. What? How do you figure? I was right! You take 3 plus 2 plus 4, multiply that by 8, and divide by 3, and that's 24! Ah, 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 you don't get it. There's no way Kanji could do math like that. Heck, he can hardly do basic arithmetic. Therefore, you're the fake! So he was even dumber than I imagined. He's so stupid that I ended up playing around. Huh? You picking a fight with me? I'm glad we figured it out, real Kanji-kun. Yeah, but come on. What kind of way was that to tell us apart? <laughs> Don't worry. No one would be shocked at this point. You making fun of me or trying to cheer me up? How long are you gonna keep this up, damn it? Just because my cover's been blown doesn't mean that's the end. It's time for the real reason I'm here. All right! Bring on the ring! Huh? Ah! Ah! This again? Kanji seems dangerous! Now let's get this full-on muscle-on-muscle battle going! I can't wait to get you in a hold. This bastard again. A full-on battle, huh? Fine! You're on! That didn't make them any less overblown. Can't we just leave these two here? Yuki-chan, your inner thoughts are leaking out. Oh? I'm totally okay with me, you know. You could just stay here. But, but you, you can't, can't go, go on unless you beat me raw. Won't, Won't that, that be trouble for you? Huh? Is that true, Teddy? It seems like it. When those red pillars glow, it makes these invisible walls, just like the last P1 Grand Prix. That's, That's right! Until, until someone, someone takes, takes me to heaven, heaven none, none of you are going, going anywhere. I'll do it then. I need a refresher. Whoa, hold it! That's my shadow. I can deal with my own crap. I'm gonna pass! It's too early for me to step into that world! Huh? Damn it, Teddy! I told you that's not how I am! Jeez. Then let's decide with rock, paper, scissors. That's fair, right? So good! 
I'm totally satisfied with this amazing session. Cause it's too late now. You've totally fallen for our plan! Whoa, what the hell? No way! Kanji couldn't melt it! Uh, Yukiko-senpai, that's the fake. Wait, does this mean that wasn't my shadow? I seriously thought that part of me was coming back for more. Oh, nope. General Teddy made that fake by kneading up a chunk of a shadow. Seriously? Then all we had to do from the start was beat the crap out of it! That's not my fault. You two were the ones getting all up in each other's faces. Hey, Teddy. Could that General Teddy be the culprit after all? Wouldn't that make him the one behind Labrys' problems, too? Um, I don't really know about that. Who is that General Teddy, anyway? All I know is that he's an imposter of mine. Huh? If you don't know, then there's no way we'd know. But, if he can do this to our town, then he's not an ordinary person. You got that right. Didn't they say he brainwashed the hijackers when Labrys got kidnapped? And that's not all! There's one other thing I noticed! It happened to me too, but when Yuki-chan and Kanji were fighting the fakes, tons of these shiny things were flying out! What do you mean, shiny things? Oh, I think I know. That's what we saw when the fake Kanji-kun was melting too, right? Yep, you got it! That stuff never used to come out when we fought. What could it be? Hmm, good question. Also, how should I put this? It seems like fighting in this fog is tiring everyone out faster than usual. Huh? Yeah, now that you mention it. It's like when we would go into the TV world without Teddy's glasses. Huh? That reminds me. We haven't tested out the glasses. If you need them, I have some right here. <laughs> no, that's okay. It's true that I can't see very far, but I can still see where I'm going. And the exhaustion comes more when the fighting ends, not during the battle. So, what does that mean? When those shiny things come out after a fight, we get really tired? Jeez, you really are stupid, aren't you, Kanji? The shiny things and getting tired are two separate things! So what then? This is all because you suck at explaining shit! Yukiko-senpai? Has Yuki-chan lost it? You're right. Sorry. This is nothing. <laughs> um, I was thinking that Kanji-kun might have been right just now. Huh? What'd I say? I know, I know, I remember! He said that when the shiny things come out, you get tired. Right. I thought that actually could be the case. Huh. I don't really get it. What do you mean? Well, could it be that that's what the culprit is really after? He's making us fight, getting those shiny things to come out and... Uh, uh, what would he want with them? No! You totally had us going, Yuki-chan! So, you didn't figure out the important part? Uh, is his goal just to make us tired? Hmm, I don't know. Hmm, what could this all mean? I, I wish I could concentrate and think, but this fog is just so... <laughs> ah, gross, Ted! Sorry, it's just that this red fog keeps violently irritating my nose. Oh!
Huh? What is it? I did notice something about those shiny thingies. Really? Mm-hmm. Those shiny thingies have all been flying towards Sensei in your school on the hill. When I fought General Teddy earlier, he told me to head to the school, too. Something smells fishy about that place. So what's the deal? If you knew something, why didn't you spit it out before? Well, let's go there. If the others noticed it, too, I'm sure they're on their way already. Teddy, can you lead the way? Leave it to me! You two, follow me! Where to?